All right, hello, good morning, good evening, and good night. I hope you guys are doing absolutely fantastic because in today's video, what we're talking about is we're talking about Zim. And Zim just actually crossed over the $15 mark. Isn't it a great day when we're making money, guys? If you guys are investors in Zim, I have a great video for you guys. I made tons of videos in the past, my last one being December 20th here on Zim. And I said, why? there might be some good news for Zim investors coming in the future. Now, did I predict this? No, I didn't predict this, but freight rates have gone pretty much parabolic once again. So we have measured freight rates from Fredo's Ballistic uh, Baltic Index, FBX, measured from a week ago, which was $1,341 all the way up to roughly $2,500. This is a massive increase in shipping prices and that is going to greatly impact Zim. Zim moves with shipping prices, and as you can see here over the past month, even if you are not an investor in Zim, you can see it's gone from seven, roughly $7.20 all the way up to about $15. This is a 100% increase, yes, 100% in the past month. Zim is directly tied to shipping freight rates. That is what I wholly believe. I believe that when freight rates double, Zim is going to double, and I currently think freight rates might continue upwards i can't predict the future but i actually did buy a position in zim today which we will discuss so today we're talking about zim integrated shipping what freight rates are doing why this is happening and will they potentially pay a dividend i think they might so please stick around and watch this video till the end if you guys do enjoy please do remember to subscribe we're up to 3834 subscribers if you guys are interested in making money online with dividend investing high dividend yields like zim potentially paid in the past please do remember to subscribe it's free help yourself out okay so let's get into this video the reason why i have this here zim up is because i bought 15 shares this morning at 14 dollars 94 and i'm going to cancel this because i already purchased it and i already put it into my dividend account so what I want to do here is go to my real life portfolio. And so you can see here, I have 41 shares of Zim. I have an average cost per share now down to $23.63. It says I'm down about 30 to 40%, but it hasn't fully factored in the, per, um, the share price of Zim. Now, Zim has been on a pretty insane bull run and it could potentially continue. And that's why I wanted to make this video for you guys. Right now, we're sitting at about $15.12. 11% over the past five days or so, Zim has gone from roughly under $10 to $15. That's a 50% increase in the past five days alone. And that is really due to the increase in global shipping rates. And the reason for these increases is there's obviously the conflicts in the Middle East. It's not what you want to happen, but it is what's happening. And those who are looking out for them could potentially prosper. Now, the conflicts in the Middle East, I'm just going to read read here. So, so it says the Red Sea shipping dis disruption news and updates. What it says here is the widespread di um, diversions of container carriers away from the Red Sea. There's been a couple attacks, I think, on Mirazik ships. And so carriers are staying away from the Red Sea because they don't want to get literally exploded. So to avoid healthy attacks are likely to impact shippers on effect affected lanes in the form of longer lead times and higher freight rates as carriers take longer routes with higher costs. So this is something to keep in mind here. So although it says it might lead to higher lead times and freight rates, the reason for higher freight rates is going to be these lead times. People want their inventory fast. They don't want to wait for it and they're willing to pay higher prices and Zim will take advantage of this. Now, one thing with them not being able to go through the Red Sea or avoiding the Red Sea, they are going to be taking on some higher costs, which will eat into a bit of the profits, but it won't completely. And the reason being is because shipping rates have doubled over the past two weeks, one week. They have doubled. And we've seen this before, and I have this chart up going back to 2021, 2022 is when there was a real bull market in container shipping prices. I, this one, I don't know why it says about 5,000. It's about half of what it really was. But so you can pretty much take this chart and double it. But basically for a 40 foot container, it was roughly about $10,000. And you could see here 2021, pretty much stable prices were hovering at about 700 to about a thousand or even 900, even less than that. But they absolutely went parabolic as I'm sure you guys were all aware during COVID and 
it kind of ramped down and over the past year or so it's been relatively flat but we've seen this massive spike in shipping prices which has led to the massive spike in zim stock price now when i look at this and just kind of dump diving into a little bit more of the data here it said the recent escalation includes an attack on morazic vessel this was a vessel going through the red sea and it did get hit with an explosion and i'm not sure what happened to the vessel but obviously when a company is carrying like customers goods and their ship gets attacked they are definitely going to avoid that route which is causing a lot of shippers and a lot of companies to avoid those routes leading to these higher shipping prices uh we don't really need to see what response the U.S. has, but global f freight rates face disruption as container as container carriers reroute away from the Sizzle Canal. I'm totally butchering that, leading to extended lead times and potential port congestion. Another thing, port congestion. When we were dealing with these extremely high rates during COVID, that was due to a lot of port congestion because everything was closed down during covid and then all of a sudden everything got ramped up to over a hundred percent capacity just due to the fact that nobody was getting their goods during covid nobody was getting their goods during this high peak time and so people were willing to spend so much in order to get those goods and restock on inventory and it led to so much congestion which contributed obviously to the great expansion in the global shipping container prices now if we see these delays and we see we, we're not going to see the delays like we've seen in COVID. So I don't think we're going to reach back up to this $10,000 level, but we are currently seeing some delays. And depending on how bad it gets, depending on how long shippers take to kind of reach their destination, we could see these global container rates go even higher. And that is why I decided to buy some more stock in Zim. So I currently bought at $14 and 95 cent, $14 and 49 cents, pardon me. And I'm currently up on that position a couple percent just even on the day, but this could potentially trend higher. I'm obviously, I'm no wizard. I don't know what's going to happen in the future, but I do think that with the congestion and with all the kind of red flags around shipping right now, that we could see an increase still in Zim stock price. So I wanted to make this video. And another thing, will Zim be profitable? I do think Zim could potentially be profitable. What I want to highlight is this very last dividend right here, April 4th, 2023, before I did this video. I kind of checked out all the previous dividends, but April, tw April 4th, 2023, if we go back to this time and this period, you could see here that it was kind of on the downtrend where they were probably collecting money still earned from this about $1,300 level all the way down to this $1,000 level here. And in April, see here, April 4th, roughly the global container shipping rates were under a thousand dollars they were collecting money from this little period right here which was trending down from thirteen hundred dollars roughly all the way down to under a thousand now if zim is able to hold these 17 or if global container rates are able to hold the 17 dollar or seventeen hundred dollar shipping level for a little while or even expand higher i do think zim will be paying a dividend will it be high as six dollars i don't think so it as well i think will depend upon zim's stock price but we could potentially see a dividend like $2 like we've seen in the past. So that is my prediction on Zim's dividend, roughly about $2 potentially if container rates hold high like this or go even higher. It's very interesting to see what is going to happen with Zim. Obviously, it's been very volatile over the past couple of days, but this is a great sign for Zim. This is a great sign for potentially bringing back the dividend. And so I wanted to make this video and I also bought some shares too. So I want to let you guys know that as well. I'm in the game. So I hope you guys did enjoy this video. We're currently up to 3,834 subscribers. Please do subscribe if you haven't yet done. So this video is coming to an end. I will keep you guys up to date with any news on Zim that I hear and please do the same with me. So I hope you guys did enjoy this video. Please do take care and good luck to you guys. I'll see you guys in the next video.